Our first story takes us to a small town in Virginia. In 1995, a family was driving home from a Memorial Day parade. The parents, John and Emily, were with their two children, Alex and Sarah. They decided to take a scenic route through the countryside. As dusk settled, they noticed a figure standing by the roadside. It was a man in a World War II uniform, weaving them down. Curious and concerned, John pulled over. The soldier introduced himself as Private James Miller. He said his car had broken down and asked for a ride to the nearest town. Despite the oddity of his attire, they agreed to help. As they drove, the family tried to make conversation, but the soldier remained mostly silent, gazing out the window. When they reached the town, John turned around to ask where to drop him off. But to their shock, the back seat was empty. Panic set in. They hurried to the nearest police station to report the bizarre encounter. An officer listened patiently and then showed them a photo. It was Private James Miller, who had died in action during World War II, never making it back home. To this day, no one can explain how or why Private Miller appeared to that family. Some believe he was seeking one last ride home. A popular spot for Memorial Day picnics and gatherings. In 2008, a group of friends decided to spend the long weekend camping by the lake. Among them were Mark, Lisa, Kevin, and Rachel. The first day was perfect swimming, barbecuing, and storytelling by the campfire. But as night fell, a strange mist rolled over the lake. They shrugged it off as a weather change and retired to their tents. In the middle of the night, Rachel woke up to the sound of soft splashing. Peeking outside, she saw a figure standing in the lake. It appeared to be a woman in an old-fashioned dress, her face pale and eyes vacant. Rachel screamed, waking the others. The figure vanished, but the friends were shaken. They decided to leave at first light. As they packed up, a local ranger approached. He noticed their hurried demeanor and asked what was wrong. They told him about the ghostly woman. The ranger sighed and revealed a local legend. In the 1920s, a young woman named Emily drowned in the lake under mysterious circumstances. Since then, there have been numerous sightings of her ghost, especially around Memorial Day. The friends left, vowing never to return. Lake Johnson remains a popular spot, but visitors are warned not to stay after dark. You never know who or what you might encounter. These stories remind us that Memorial Day is not only a time of remembrance but also a time when the past can resurface in the most unsettling ways. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, be mindful of the places you visit and the tales they hold. Until next time, stay safe and keep your lights on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more true horror stories. Have a spooky Memorial Day, everyone!